Today we're gonna beat the new expert map on chimps mode. Yes, already. Now on first glance, I did already mention this in the update video, but it looks like a really easy map. I mean, it's just one lane, a very long lane of that, so what's the catch? Obviously there's a lot of line of sight blockers. In fact, I think they made it so that you can't start with the sniper, or if you do, you don't have any good coverage on it. Coverage on it. But as I was saying, there's gotta be some sort of catch, and indeed there is. I have been spoiled, but uh, just in case you guys don't know yet, I'll just uh, eventually let it happen. I think a Druid and Dart Start probably works fine. I mean, yeah, this Druid has got pretty much two chances to snipe balloons in this loop here. I'm not sure if it's enough to save up for 1k when it does eventually chase, so I might have to... Oh, I guess I'm ready for round 9. Yeah, I'll do one Thorn Swarm. By the way, this is a Challenge Editor run, not a Black Border run, just because I don't want, want that pressure <laughs> right away, although... It probably isn't isn't too bad, again, considering the length. Maybe some other time, though, so, yep. This 0 -0 and Druid start can pretty much get to Corvus. Now, there is space, luckily, okay, right over here. I guess I'll also use this time to try out more of Corvus that maybe I didn't try out the last time, although I think I already did try to hold up amount of stuff. I will just use Nourishment to, again, farm XP, but I won't, I won't sweat too hard on this one. Like, I'm not gonna fully optimize Corvus here. But, uh, hang on. Here it is. Round 15 just started, and look what just happened. Our Druid and Ice Tower, or Dart Monkey, are frozen. And now it's just all up to Corvus to uh, survive round 15 here. Let's see if he can do it. Oh, definitely not for the pink, so I'm gonna have to cast a Spear. And boy, Spear is really, really good. I don't think I used it late game last time, but I definitely think I should have, because... It's more than just uh, an average, you know, Druid Lightning come to late game, apparently. But yes, as you see, it, they were frozen for both round 15 and 16. So that is the catch of this map. That's what makes it harder than what it looks like on, like, just from the front. Once you drop the tower, on the 10th round, that tower will be frozen for two rounds specifically. And this is a cycle. So when did I drop Corvus? Round... It was round 13, right? Or 12? Well, either way, he'll probably be frozen on round 22. That's okay, though. We can just get Druid of the Jungle. And we can... Well, survive those rounds without Corvus. Actually, hang on. Round 21? Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I assume it was round 12 that I dropped them on. Uh, so, yeah. 21 is the 10th round, technically, that the tower was, dro was dropped on. No problemo. Also, crap, what do I do this round? Can I- I can't harvest for any mana here. <laughs> and I t fortunately don't have enough, what do you call it, mana for vision. What if I just do a factory? Because uh, now that you have seen this, this interaction, the twist of what this map has to offer, we can already see that there are a couple towers that can cheese, cheese it. So for example, the reason why I dropped Druid was for eventually Spear the Forest. The vines on the track apparently do not, like, they still damage even while the uh, druid is frozen. It just won't shoot, and it just won't spawn any vines, but that's no biggie. Same with the spike factory. If you happen to do a perma spike, you can have the spikes from a previous round still be there and be useful for the two rounds that it's frozen on. So is that the strategy I'm going to run? Um, I guess so. I'm actually not 100% sure on perma spike yet, just because, uh, I, I don't know. I absolutely, spear the forest. I, I just kind of don't want to Keep waiting for balloons to get to the exit with Perma Spike. Might just go for maybe a Mob Shredder, a Spike Storm strategy, maybe even Carp Spikes. However, I should mention that they did get nerfed. The uh, Mob damage went down by uh, one. And on top of that, so did the Carpet Spikes base damage. But it's a pretty minor nerf compared to the massive buff they gave the last update. So overall, still very strong. Also, if you haven't noticed, Corvus's Spirit also freezes in time. Looks kind of funky that way, doesn't it? Oh, also, crap, round 33 hit. I just realized my spike factory was dropped on the wrong round. So, uh, that is the, uh, um, I guess, strategy. The unique strategy you have to think about for this game here. I'm gonna wait a little bit. We'll use it now. Hopefully it lasts all the way. If not, I don't know. I'll figure out something. Please last. Nope, I uh, messed up. You know what, guys? I think this is where haste is actually useful. Because I want the spear to rush to the right side. So... Uh, I'm gonna activate as late as possible. How about now? Go, 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 go. See? And let's see if it lasts the entire duration now. Please. Oh my god. Nope. Missing two, so I need to get something else. 
you know what? Let's drop an ice tower. So with the uh, one exception to the freezing rule is, well, ice. You can't freeze an ice that is already frozen. Let me just see how many upgrades you can get on it. Maybe we'll just stop it at 210, see if that's good. So if it can just catch the first yellow, then we can stall long enough. Hell, even the second, that's great. Uh, let's just use it now. And it should last all the way here. Yep, perfect, perfect. So yes, ice towers will never get frozen, hence why it is probably a good strategy you want to run for. I will personally choose Aptitude Zero, because I like Aptitude Zero. In fact, Aptitude Zero plus Light Spirit sounds like a deadly combo if you leave the balloons in the track for uh, as long as possible. Well, you're going to have your Spirit of Force maximize damage. So with that said, even with the freezing mechanic, I still think this map is pretty easy. By the way, uh, this 10 here with the Ice Monkey trapped in a cube is kind of the hint that Ninja Kiwi gives you as to what the... Uh, what the gimmick is about. Ninja Kiwi never makes it obvious. It's kind of kind of akin to what they did on Cargo with a 39. The 39 being the round that the trucks eventually move. Now, I probably should have been more thoughtful on where I... Or when I dropped the Ice and SPAC 3. So the SPAC was frozen 33-34. That means it's frozen on the 3-4 three, three, of... Well, any round ending with 3-4. They make it very easy for us. Should I get Jungler's Bounty? Sure. Luckily for round 40, none of our towers are stunned. That is great. We'll harvest. I did upgrade the spec 3 too, because I, th I think we lack more damage. Uh, that's not a whole lot of money to or mana to spend. I'll just use, I don't know, aggression. Just because it drains the least, so it's up for the longest. And nice that cleans up. And now Corvus is frozen again. So uh, I think rounds ending in 1 or 2 are probably the best rounds to have a frozen on, which means... Uh, yeah, because, well, if we're going to round 100, then obviously you want to it to be frozen for the weakest round. So 91, 92, we have no no corpus, but for the rest of the game, we do indeed, which is great because uh, uh, if, yeah, the, the nuke. As I said, corpus can do it all. You just have to know which upgrades to buy or which spells to cast, and that would be the uh, Overload and Ancestral Might, which apparently is, yeah, really good against those, those high... Uh, HP balloons. We'll keep on using nourishment just because I think we are good for now, even with no jungle's bounty. No camo on the jungle's bounty either. Hmm, should I get a D camo? Could just get an O2 3 mortar at some point. We will see though. Also, I mentioned Primer Spike and Carver Spikes. Turns out I'm using none of those. I'm just gonna go for, uh, I guess, a Spike Mines. I think it's. Uh, maybe a bottom cross path would have been nice to, so that, you know, all the spikes don't get used up before it actually exits the bend, but nothing I can do about that, unless I want to lose some some spike capacity. If we do inevitably go for the carpet of spikes, though, I guess I could just put it in the front, because it doesn't really matter. It's mostly an ability. I'm going to move Corvus, because turns out he was using some pretty good real estate. I think there is space for respect three. Won't drop it yet, though, in case I want that last space for uh, something else. Also, crap, this round Corvus is frozen. I was going to use the, uh, what do you call it, the decamo of the vision. But I think now that means my spike factory gets overwhelmed. Okay. Let me just think. What rounds do the mortar get frozen if I drop it now? Remember, Drew dropped round 6. It was stunned for 15 and 16. So this will be stunned on rounds ending with 0 or 1. And if I think about it, are there any camel rounds ending with 0 or 1 in the future? I don't think so. Only round 70 and round 90. Not a big deal because by then I'll probably have a beefy spike mines, aptitude 0 and all that. Again, if you haven't noticed, the Ice Tower so far has been up the entire time. No issues whatsoever. Oh, so round 52 is the time where I, w I should drop towers, as I mentioned. Because uh, it will be stunned for 1 and 2, which are definitely the easier round. So let me see if I can squeeze in an Alpha buff. Crud. Okay, right here, right here. I'll just do a 3 zero, zero for now. I don't think we really have to Alpha buff the uh, Gentleman's Bounty. It already goes pretty hard in paint. I will continue to keep using it this time to... Hang on, crap. I'm going to drag. To use a spear. Because our spike factory is disabled. Now, back on the topic of Corvus. One thing I would personally like is if he could double-click to cast it. Just because right now... Well, I did use the cast button a lot. You can still drag it, though, if you want to make it easier. But if you want to dismiss it, you have to press this button. Which, in a way, is kind of annoying. It'd be much easier. I think, yeah, that, that's probably something they'll add in the future. Simple quality of life edition. As it stands, not having hotkeys to be able to micro on PC are kind of a pain. I, I know I, I say that as like mobile players have a like 
have, with no hotkeys for a anything whatsoever. I hear you, I hear you, but just as a PC player, I think. <laughs> Considering what I'm used to already with pretty much every ability having a hotkey. We also have 31,000 saved up right now. Uh, for this BFP here, I think we've stalled. Yeah, this map is long enough that I, I literally don't have to do anything for Corvus, and we beat it easy peasy. So tell me, is this really a true expert map if we are able to save up this much without really much thought put into it? I think not. We're really close to being this round. I think I'll just... You know, on a second thought, maybe I shouldn't have dropped everything to be frozen on, like, the round ending with one or two, because before Spear the Forest, it's still kind of hard. I'll just get a Snowstorm so that I can freeze the Moabs, and that probably buys me enough time to uh, survive, I think. Oh, okay, I guess not. Well, good thing this is not Black Border. I'll just go ahead and use it. Sure, how about now? And we should survive, all things considered. Yes, sir. Although, still pretty close. Still no Corvus is around, so we gotta make do with the damn F mob running by us. Okay, I'll freeze specifically for the uh, Fortified Cerams there, but that ain't gonna work. I said I was gonna get it, so I guess I'll just get it. We'll just do a simple mob shredder. I don't want to spend, again, too much, but I think just the spikes dropping there should pop mobs immediately. And this last nose from clean. oh my god, it's a 9 day difference. Guys, do you even feel the nerf? You probably shouldn't, because... With them doing 8 damage still, that's 80 mob damage per spike it drops, so it only takes 3 of them to beat down a normal Moab. And now that means the spike balls are all up for those F mobs that end up leaking. This round should be fine, because Jungle's Bounty is OP. And we got Corvus back. We'll make sure to harvest, because that does some damage too. More F mobs here. I don't have Snowstorm. I'm going to Storm. Storm is the way, guys. Storm is the way. Or is it? Uh, I'm going to also freeze. Frostbound, Frostbound. I heard that's pretty good. There we go. Actually use some micro here. Just to survive these rounds. Okay, a lot of ramps here will just, uh, use the spear. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. That full map range lightning. Alright, still got a snowstorm because the druid is not active. I think it'll be pretty much all on, what do you call it? Corvus here. I'll use storm and all this. Three spell is active. What else? The panel's kind of in the way, but I think repel and the combo of those should be nice and good to clear. Let's dismiss him now. Or not actually, right? The Druid's still inactive. After this round, though, definitely take it off. Then the Druid can, can deal with it. But we should be able to afford to be the Force no problem after this point. All we gotta do is beat 7172 without Corvus. Also, this is not intentional, but my Mob Shredder is also stunned, so... Oops. We're probably not gonna make it out of life here, right? With only Snowstorm and the Druid? Oh my god. I done goofed. Do I just get Spiked Mines? You know what? Yes. But if I Fort Spear the Forest, like, any later than 81, 82... I'm done, though. I still think the strategy I mentioned, you know, ending one or two, freezing those rounds is good, but... I think I will. I went a little bit too hard in that direction. That's really all I can say. But I think I can. Yeah, I can survive any other round but one or two. As long as Corvus is active and we have the ability to do many things with him. I've seen a lot of people saying he's a bad hero, but I, sir, I, I couldn't disagree any less. He's not a bad hero. Just have to use him right. And uh, obviously, this is my first time, so I don't think I showcased it to his fullest optimal potential. Hell, not even today. I don't think I am. Again, just take any observations on any hero, any tower's release, with a grain of salt. I actually think Spike Mines... We actually don't need many Corvus spells if Spike Mines is as good as I think it is. I think I'll still use Spear, though. It's good grouped. I will Snowstorm if I need to. Uh... Yeah, there's a lot of balloons there. And I can just trample 76 if this is a Riga farm. Or does Lightning Shred it? Lightning does not shred it, that's why I will trample immediately. Please, saw to sword charge. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Easy. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Now I think it's genuinely a free win. We pretty much got a ring of death back here. Almost nothing gets by. Abzu do just slow everything down, and then... Remember guys, the closer, or the vines spawn, that spawn closest to uh, the Spear of the Forest have increased damage. Hence why it was dropped in the back. For that massive death choke hole. And you can see it right here. Just based on length alone. Spear the Forest works really well on long maps. 
because you can just rack up that damage over time, enough to damage them into, like, pretty much F-mobs by the time they get here. I have to do it now. I think also because of science reasons, I will personally not use any, any more nourishment. I kind of want to see how much, you know, Corvus will naturally level on an expert chimps map. It seems like pretty slowly, so you definitely do want to micro if you want him level 20 by the time your other heroes normally get level 20. Also, um, I know I died a lot of rounds earlier. I completely forgot to use Soul Barrier. That would have been a good opportunity. Like, maybe for the camel round 33. Well, too late for that. Well, I'll see if there's any other opportunities to use it in this game here, but I don't think there will be, because as I mentioned again, usually later on in, like, chimps rounds, the 100 lives won't save you compared to maybe the little that you're going to leak early game. Take a look now, though, for these rounds. No Corvus, no Alk buff, no problem. I haven't even used the absolute zero ability slow down things. I will use it now, just because I think I'll actually die here. Yes, I will die here. Don't worry, guys. The problem can be solved very easily simply by freezing, using the absolute zero ability off cooldown whenever. Hell, even the mob shredder is frozen, which really would help us break down some Zimuji's lair. Are we still? I think we're actually still dead. Despite all that. No worries, though. We have 33,000 to work with. That's plenty. Just kind of curious. Does main mob work for this round? Hopefully. Um, yep. They're popping down to balloons much earlier. And beautiful. Beautiful. Again, the problem with sniper is that even to put it here. Can't see the left side. Not to worry, though. All of our towers are back. Also, crap. Uh, hang on. Let's use Soul Bear here. Did that save us? Or did we actually end up catching it? Well, either way. No, I, I, think, I think we ended up catching it. Oh, that would have been nice to have it actually come in clutch. But that's all right. I will again cast beer. Just to show you. It actually does some pretty solid lightning damage. Let's take it off here and show you. In fact, let's use Echo 2. I'll use this round as a Corvus showcase round to rack up some, some DPS here. Right now we have Echo and Spear. I saw like a couple thousand. Not terrible. Especially when the density was pretty low, and I had so many more spells I probably could have used. This round is probably a good round to do what you think. Probably by Spike's turn, but let's try to see if I can beat this with uh, Corvus. So we'll cast this. You know what? Let's cast the Soul Barrier too. Frick it. Does it save me? Yeah, it did. It did. Well, not until I leaked the DT, but this time for sure. So Echo now... Sure, we'll cast Storm. We'll use this ability, because there's so many balloons here. Absolute Zero, I forgot. Sure, we'll use Soul Barrier. I also just realized that the Soul Barrier changes lives based on your current mana. So I don't think I actually leaked the other... Yeah, I definitely didn't leak the other time. I was just moving. That was also poorly timed, because it doesn't last a whole, a whole long time. You kind of think of, of a way it's kind of kind of cheesing chips more than one life. But think of it also like the Ledger of the Night Portal. When you're taking a lot of losing lives, just, it's just giving you a barrier... A shield, in a way. That'll do, though. That'll do. As you see again, though, with all these all this density, Corvus's lightning is putting in work. What else is good? How about Ember here? Apparently, the damage over time stacks. So, that could explain why the damage of Ember was pretty decent there. Okay, no more goofing around. We got our spikes from finally. I actually might have enough money for carpet spikes. I don't know if I... Uh, I guess I will, but I can also flex by not spending the money. And you know what? I think I will, because I think Corvus and Spear of the Forest can take damn 98. Let's just first harvest for uh, some mana. And let's go big this round, because we have Spear of the Forest to deal with everything. So I heard that, well, I've seen already that Big Hands plus Echo go as hard. Let's gain some more mana. We'll drop down Spear 2, since we have full mana. Storm 2, frick it. Out to 0. Corvus is going ham, guys. Oh my god. Like, each stop is, like, jumping up at, like, 5k. 5k plus. Things you love to see, it's. And we will beat 98 first try. No sp sp spike storm ability at all. And now we'll use this current round to just recharge the spellbook to full. Get it back up to 900, or sorry, 800. I guess I'll do recovery to cool faster the cooldowns a little bit. If we need to. But okay, I actually don't have- oh man, I don't have the mana- I don't have the mana for Echo and Overload. This sucks. I really want to use that combo. The only thing I can do is wait for this ability. 
There we go. We'll echo now. Harvest. And cast overload. Let's go. How much damage did I do in the bad? Not enough to kill it, but good enough. One more spike storm, and that should do it. $53,000 left over, guys. Ain't that crazy. I will... Oh, right. I can dark shift. Is this... Will this harvest? It will, Pog. And then I'll just intense for Might to beat this off, right? Yep. Just one big hand is all we need. Actually, it's not in range, but whatever. Good enough, I think. We'll freeze here. And GG. There's your extra map. Be in blind using a spontaneous strategy. Sphere of the Forest, as expected, did many, many damage. Hope you enjoy the Corvus Showcase also, because there is more to come. Click here if you missed my initial Corvus Showcase. And subscribe for more. See ya.